welcome to my blog for day five. Day four was Shabbat and it was lovely and I didn't record anything. Now we're in day five and this is the Crossroads of Civilization Museum in Dubai. And we're standing now in the Holocaust exhibit, the first Holocaust exhibit ever built in the Arab world. And we were given a guided tour by Ahmed Al-Mansouri, who is one of the most genuinely devoted lovers of the Jewish people that one could imagine. It is unfathomable to think that we're standing here in Dubai at a Holocaust exhibit, explaining the story of the Jewish people. And then as you take a turn, it explains Judaism and the history of Jews in the region to tell our story so that people here understand that the Holocaust did not lead to the state of Israel, that we in fact have a tie to the land of Israel since antiquity, and we've suffered this atrocity that people should know about. My grandparents could not have imagined that there would be such a place in the middle of the Arab world. And this stands in stark contrast to many Holocaust deniers, most notably Mahmoud Abbas, the president of the Palestinian Authority, whose PhD is in Holocaust denial from Moscow University. Here we stand amongst friends who acknowledge the Jewish narrative of the 20th century and, and weep with us and use our narrative to teach I was shaken on a personal note because on this wall right here, as you can see, there is an exhibit about Auschwitz-Birkenau with the maps, and you can see Ludz here, which is where my mother's family is from. And I began reading the panels because it attracted me because, of course, we know all four of my grandparents are survivors of the Shoah. And then immediately I turned here onto this wall and found the Chust Kehila, the story of Irving Wolf. I have never ever in my life seen an exhibit on Chust, which is where my father's family is from. And in the story about Chust, you can see here, he mentions the bank, the pharmacy, and the Leibovitch printing store that was there. Now my, my family was, I don't think was in printing, but perhaps we had cousins who were in printing. And then right across in the, right across the exhibit, we have here one of the synagogues from Chus. It is remarkable that in the middle of Dubai, I can find my family story. And in so many ways, this exhibit and this entire museum is devoted to teaching not tolerance, but actually love and embrace of one another. This place stands as emblematic of the people-to-people -people relationship that the UAE has fostered between its own people and the Jewish people in an effort to express not only a desire for peace, but a desire for relationship, a desire for understanding, a desire for empathy, and a desire for understanding our mutual past so we can build together a beautiful, beautiful future.